Welcome back to Law and Dude on Earth. Thank you for listening to the show today. Let's see what topic we get into after the intro. Welcome back to Lawn Dude Unearthed. This is your host, Micah, with Lawn Dude Lawn Maintenance, LLC. Coming uh, on here again, uh, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of the day, whatever day of the week that you uh, are listening to this, even if this is the future, man. Uh, just coming to you uh, with a quick little word here, man. Um, one thing I can really say that's on top of my mind right now is I am fired up right now. I am beyond fired up. I'm fired up. You fired up? Yeah. Those who remember that podcast I had, it was literally titled, I'm fired up. I was talking about the chant we used to say in football. And you know what? That's how I'm feeling right now. Why, oh, why are you over here saying that you're fired up? Why are you feeling fired up? I'm about to tell you why I'm feeling fired up. I'm feeling fired up because I have every reason to not be fired up right now. Boy, oh, boy. That sure doesn't make sense, they say. I'm about to tell you why that fires me up. That fires me up because every path I've taken to get to where I am to this day and age has been a blessing. Has been, um, the whole thing has been driven by God. But there are so many situations I've been in. If you heard a lot of my previous podcasts, there's so many situations I've been in that would have kept me from getting to where I am right here, right now, which I'm going to keep saying it. I'm not a finished product at all. I am far from it. So sometimes you have that enemy attacking you. You have that enemy attacking you, and boy, do they attack you. They put you at the point where you feel like, I should tap out. I should just give up. I should just call it a day. You know, sometimes you just want to sit there and go, man, I'm sitting here trying to do this, trying to do that. This happens, that happens. I tap out. I'm waving my white flag. That's not for me right there, man. I, I, I just can't do it. Uh, it is just unacceptable to me. If I were to fail when trying to do my absolute best, my the, the, to the end of the earth best effort into it, cool. It's not really a failure because it's a learning experience. But if I were to fail, not learn anything, and not even put in my best effort forward, then yes, that is definitely a failure. So, <laughs> I say all that to put context on, I know my current situation, man. I've had frustrations just over, you know, small things in this industry. Um, as I've said in previous podcasts, you probably not heard from many other lawn care professionals in the podcast or service providers in general. Something about election years always caused your sales to plummet. Just, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know if people are saving their money or what, but every election year, this is just how it's always been. So going through those woes, getting out of the drought, where, you know, it, it impacts your income when you're used to mowing certain properties every week and then it goes from every week to maybe once a month or 
every two weeks and it's just making a difference in you in that uh number that you used to see every month so dealing with all that dealing with some big ticket sales that i'm not hearing back from i'm talking about good clients who normally contact back right away i was just dealing with a lot of frustrations um but those who know me know i don't let these things hold me down i've been doing uh small things man uh well small to me but maybe big to others um i did invest in a weight set i invested in uh a different bike a better bike so i can uh work out with the kids more you know get them ready for sports and whatnot and while I, like i said look at that as little things i think that means a lot for the kids uh my wife went out and bought some different pieces of uh exercise equipment and we're just able to do these things with the kids and it's nice because we're teaching them you know how to stay in great shape and helping them stay healthy and ready and prepared for the season because if they stay ready they don't have to get ready you hear me all those in the back if they stay ready they don't have to get ready so I say that to basically say as part of context of what I just said uh, with what should be woes, what should be keep me down is I'm basically channeling this into other areas where I can be more, I don't know, productive is the good word for that or what, but like exercising with the kids. You know, hanging out with them, like, keep in mind with the drought over the past month, well, for the month of June, that got me coming home really early. So I took advantage of that time, you know, spend time with wife and kids, and I enjoyed that part of it. And then I just, you know, left it up to God when it comes to the income situation. Don't mistake that for I sat around on my hands and just said, Lord, just let the money fall on my hands. No, I prayed to God and knew that he would provide a path that I had to go off of from there. And that's what happened. Um, recently, I was a little frustrated with my sales. Matter of fact, today I was. Um, usually I've been good on sales, but I'm praying, praying, praying on it. And... The Lord kept telling me, pick up the phone and call some of these people. See, I'm part of a new, I guess you could say, I'm part of that generation that first text and email. Uh, I even have, I think, previous podcasts. I know YouTube videos on how I went on digital. I don't even have a phone number on my truck, on my card, no none of that. I use all QR codes and email and the website. That's it. because. I'm so busy in the field being owner operator that a lot of times when I reply to people's emails, it's late at night or early morning. And you can do that. You can do that and um you know, with emails, but you can't do that with calls. And on top of that, one thing I need to get over, one thing I've been getting over, and one thing I've done. Since I've been, even before I went in business, when I worked for previous companies, I had to do all the self-generated sales and call clients. I'm not going to lie to you. I used to dread doing that. So to this day, I still don't like talking on the phone. I never have. It's just never been something I like to do. So God had placed on my heart to basically get over myself. I can't sit here and be upset if I'm not doing my absolute best. What I mean by that is I have a couple of clients that I'm not receiving emails back from. They're not responding to texts, you know, from sales. And, you know, I have yard book where it shows that they've opened the email. They reviewed the estimates, this, that, and the third. Yeah, I said, pick that phone up and call the client. And I'm sitting here going, eh, 
When I get home later, I will call the client. When I get home later. Gotta say, calm now. <laughs> I'm on my way to my furthest area out, Stafford. It's a 16 mile ride for me. It's the furthest part I have on my route. So I'm on my way down there. I called the client up, asked all the questions about the asthma, asked they had any questions, concerned. And they did. And they basically addressed those with me and asked me basically to send them another quote, you know, with the updated things they were talking about. And even might have additional work that I wasn't expecting. And I hung the phone up and also overjoyed with that, that I picked up the phone call my wife. And explain and not even explain, just told her what just happened. So some will wonder why I'm sitting here going over this whole entire story. <laughs> My podcast, man. All stories come to some type of context. They all connect. Everything I've been saying is connected. Listen to God and everything will be all right. This is something that I need to get a lot better at. This is something I've been working on. You have to listen to God if you really expect things to get better. Something as simple as me just picking up a phone, getting over myself, getting out of my pride. May have just sold. And I mean, may have just sold a decent sized job. For those familiar with this, his client has a huge gravel driveway. Uh, I can't even think how many square feet because I have it written down somewhere. But it's a long driveway. And basically, the estimate is to hardly rake the driveway, the whole entire gravel driveway. Apply a pre-emergent after that service. And then, after I'm done with that, possibly tear out the front shrubs. Uh, get rid of the chip mulch that's in there and put down some fresh um, fresh uh, double shredded uh, mulch in there. Oh, and replace all the old shrubs that I tear out with some new smaller shrubs for curb appeal. So. Those who are in this field know that that's a pretty sizable job, and I do know my numbers. I know my work. So it is definitely a decent income job, which is a lot more than what I was. Well, it's a lot more work than I was originally quoting for. And all I had to do was pick up the phone. God had to tell me to pick up the phone. God had to tell me to get out my way, to get up out my Get uh, get over myself, man. I'm sorry. As a man, sometimes I got to sit here and admit it is hard to admit that sometimes, you know, I have too much pride when it comes to things like that. Just because I don't like talking on the phone, I'm willing to, like, lose a job that could take care of everything. You know what I mean? If I didn't pick the phone up, who knows? Maybe we don't ever get that work. And we, it's still not official, but it sounds pretty good that we'll get it. And this client also has another house that where we might be doing some services at, and they want to ask me for that as well. So it's like, pick up the phone, man. <laughs> get about your own way. Listen to God. That's all the lessons right there that I'm talking about when I'm providing context with these stories. Get out your way. Well, First things first, listen to God. Second thing, get out your own way. Third thing, don't act like you're too good to do something, man. Don't act like you are too good. You have arrived. There's no reason why you should be doing that. And guess what? I need to capitalize on the busy season for the next, what are we in? We're in the end of July. So I literally have August, September, October as my main months to really thrive. November, we do cleanups. December, we do cleanups. But 
I really have until the end of October to really take advantage of being busy with services. And I can't sit around and expect things to come to me. I have a bunch of door hangers. I know I'm going to have to go out there and actually walk by foot on some of these days when I'm getting off early and just door hang. You know why? Because I'm getting about my own way. I'm not expecting anything to come to me. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to do whatever I have to do. We're in an election year, right? Well, how many people do we see who wants their candidates to win? And I don't care what kind of election we're talking about. I'm not just talking presidential. I'm talking about Congress, whatever. Governor. There are people who volunteer to go around and put these uh, these little bulletins and door hangers on doors. So if these people can do stuff like that, and they're not even getting paid to do it, they're just doing it because they're released. Why can't someone like me get up off their behind and door hang advertising my services to upsell some of the jobs I would like to do? Not just, you know, sitting around waiting for certain jobs to come in and then you get, you know, inquiries on services you don't even want to perform. I can go out here and advertise for the jobs I would like to do. And it benefits not only myself, but it benefits my family. Because I'm sorry, and you're not doing your dead level best to go out here and sell work, then you're stealing from your family. You know what? I've said this in the past. I refuse to sit here and steal from my family. They deserve the best. I'm going to give them the best. I'm going to provide the best. And if God is giving you an answer on how to combat the issue, you can't sit around and complain. It's just like all these people who vote for certain people, and then they sit around and complain. Oh, my bad. I said that completely wrong. You got the people who don't vote for people. Then they are vote at all is what I mean. Then they want to be the first ones complaining all the dogs. I'll be sitting here like, man, if you don't be quiet, you didn't even vote. You have no say. It is the same situation as what I'm talking about right here, right now. If I don't step up, if I don't get over myself, get out here and do whatever it is that I need to do, instead of expecting everything to fall on my lap, don't get me wrong. Our company name is such a good name around this area that we do get a lot of work just off of word of mouth and just off people seeing the truck. And people seen us in the area for so long. But you know what? I can't rely on that. I got to go out there and take it. Not wait for it to come to me. And I'm going to go out here and take it. That is what I'm going to do. I'm taking what's mine. It's given to me. I am going to take it. Because I refuse to sit around this winter and go, man, I can't even do nothing about it. Now it's winter time. Huh. Maybe in the spring I'll do this differently. Nah, man. I ain't waiting till the spring. I ain't waiting till the winter to sit around a game plan. I'm doing things now while I can. So all those in the lawn and landscape industry who haven't waken up, it's time to wake up. It's time to go out here and give it your all, give it your best for at least the next few months. That's like all these guys on these podcasts. They all talk about the same thing. About you got to go to equip. You got to go to equip. It's okay to sacrifice that uh, week, you know, to go to equip. You know, it's better for your business. Yeah, I believe that. I believe that um, that event that Brian Fullerton puts out, the Entrepreneur Academy, I believe that's a great event too. It gets you in a room with some high level people. And I definitely get that. But you know what? What never is said when all these guys pitch that you go to these things, they always go, well, you could push work to the side. Blah, blah, blah. It's important to go. Yeah, you're right. But let me tell you what doesn't sit right with me about that. I haven't been able to go on vacation with my family 
for a while, really since I've been full time. That bothers me. That bothers the crap out of me. So I'm sorry if me going to a convention or me going to, yes, it will improve the business, but that's not the top thing on my mind when I know that there are other goals I also have. And on top of that, our kids are in sports almost every weekend in October going into November is a different sport and get different game. And guess what? I don't miss any of those. So yeah, I get it. There will be a time when I'll be able to do those things, but I wanted to sit right with me when I do eventually get into that. And what I mean by that is I want to be in position where I'm able to take the family on vacation. I'm able to take the time away, uh, hopefully with my wife, both of us go out to one of these conferences or events. You know, maybe even a couple of my peers from the area, we all go together. You know, maybe get an Airbnb and we go out there. So trust me, that's something I would love to do. I was talking to Boneyard, uh, I think last year because he went, he's gone the last two years. I was talking to Boneyard Law Service, my man over there, uh, right after he came back from Equip and I talking to him all about it. He straight up said, you know, you go get her like we are. It's the event for you. And I totally agree with that. Like I said, I have these other goals that I have to set in place first. And some will argue you go to these events, they'll help you get the accomplish these goals. 100% I can agree with that. But you know what? I'm doing a lot better. Like I said, I'm getting over myself. I don't like to read. What did I just get from the library when we took the kids all day? A couple books to help develop me. That much better. I'm going to keep studying up. I bought this uh, lawn care business book from uh, Paul Jameson, his latest book. I already read that. I'm trying to accomplish a lot. There are other things I'm working on that I do not want to discuss right now. I'd rather wait until they happen before I put them out there. But if you can't tell by how I am right now, by how I'm sounding right now, I am fired up. I'm fired up. You fired up. Yeah. I am fired up enough to run through a brick wall right now. And for my family, I will run through any brick wall out there. I will run through any obstacle. Because guess what? A lot of these obstacles that are up. I'm putting in my own way, and I know a lot of people out there who are in the same situation, they're putting their own obstacles up too. Like I said, there are things I can go out here and do better, and uh, while I'm on this podcast, sitting here talking to whoever is listening to this, whoever is still on here, I, I appreciate you. I thank you. Because I know I'm not one of the big name podcasters out there, but I appreciate it. I hope you're taking away something from this. But I am saying all this to say I am definitely getting up out my own way and I am definitely going to be out here pushing myself to the limit. I am actually just got in not too long ago from a mow route where I did shrub trimming and a tree trimming job at the end of my route. And I'm about to literally shower up real quick and then uh, send out some quotes. One of them being the quote I was talking about earlier. Need to send these quotes out. I need to follow up on these things. I need to do a better job at a lot. So we can do nothing but thrive and win. That's what we do here. We thrive and win. And that's what we're going to continue to do here. Thrive and win. So. I'm going to say it again. I am fired up. You fired up? 
I'm not talking about you got some great news and you're just so fired up. You had a great day. You're just so fired up. I'm talking about having an enemy trying to come in here and and give you every reason throwing the towel and being fired up. That's what I am right now. I am so doggone excited right now. I don't even have the answers on how to do certain things right now, certain challenges that I have going on right now. I don't have the answers to that. But guess who does? God does. The all-knowing. He's always got his cover. All I gotta do is sit here and listen. And that's what I'm gonna do. So, if you didn't take away anything from what I just said, it is let go and let God and listen to him. And it's also get up out your own way. And then you have to do your best, put in your best effort forward, always. We can all do better. We can all improve somewhere. The one guy that sits around and says, oh, I'm perfect. I got everything figured out. I've been doing this for years. Can't nobody tell me nothing. I can't learn nothing from anyone. Cap, cap, straight cap. I've been doing this for a long time. I consider myself the best of the best. And guess what? I have guys who've been in business for a couple of years that I would take advice from and vice versa. I'll give advice to them. That's like, shout out to my man, Jacob with Green Branch. He younger than me. He's a lot younger than me, but you know what? We can still talk, transfer, uh, Transfer ideals and everything else. We can always learn. And he's another one that's like me that posts the low light reel. My man just had a story the other day on Instagram where he's replacing the motor on one of his Toro multi forces because I don't know, something happened with the oil. I guess he said that this is what happens when you don't check your oil. And you know what? I loved the fact that he was willing to share that with everyone on IG. Shout out to you, brother, for that. I try to do the same thing. I try to keep it 100 on here all the time. There are too many people that want to show you that highlight reel, man. Where are my low light folk at? Just like he showed that, I've shown my lows as well. I'm not a rich company. I'm not as financially stable as I would like to be. My cash flow definitely isn't where I would like it to be, which is why I'm sitting here telling you I'm working on perfecting my sales to do a lot better because guess what? We have to sell now. This isn't 2020 when jobs were just coming out the sky and falling in your lap. This is 2024. It's an election year. You got to put forth effort in sales, man. You got to actually try. So many people that don't want to try. Oh, I sent the quote out and never got a response. Follow up at the follow up through email. Follow up at the follow up via text. No response. Hey, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sitting here attacking anyone without attacking myself because I'm guilty of this too. I just explained all this. Once I got about my own way and picked up the dog on phone, guess what happened? Results. So let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. If you can't tell, I am fired up right now, man. My goodness, man. I could go on with this podcast for another doggone hour. <laughs> That's just where I'm at right now. If you're not pumped up, if you're not fired up, every day that you wake up, then I'm sorry. I feel for you. And trust me, I understand how you feel. Because there are mornings I wake up and I'm so upset with everything that is going on. With knowing that I haven't provided the life I would love to provide for my family. I get so upset with that stuff that I let it bring down my morning sometimes. 
you know what? My good Lord and Spirit, my uh, Holy Ghost always, always comes through and lifts me up in those situations. God also blessed me with a partner who knows when to lift me up. God blessed me with kids who know when to lift me up without even trying to, man. I don't know how many times I've got a text from one of them or a call or something telling me to have a great day and they love me. Have a blessed day. That means the world to me. When you're in a down moment and one of your closest people to you shoot you a text message saying they love you, they miss you, have a blessed day. How can you not get motivated? How can you not? So I don't know who that's to right now, who this is directed towards right now, who need to hear that. But you should definitely have those people around you that motivate you to run through that dog on brick wall, run through any obstacle like I just stated that I'm willing to do for mine. We are blessed to get up each and every day and do whatever it is that we do, especially if you're a business owner, man. We are blessed with a destination that we can pretty much control owning a business. That's something that a lot of people out here do not get the opportunity to do. And I thank God that I am one that does get that opportunity. So when I sit around and I complain about finances or not having enough funds in the account to take care of certain things, I got to actually remind myself, and a lot of times God has to remind me this, you chose the path to own your own business, so change it. Change your situation. Improve your situation. Versus times when I've been at a job, you really can't improve that situation at all. You can only work a certain amount of hours. That's that. So I hope y'all get something from this. Hopefully it wasn't too long winded for you guys. But like I said, I am fired up. I am so beyond fired up right now. And I hope this fires up somebody else too that's listening to this. I don't know who this is for, like I just said. I know majority of people, they click off my podcast once they sign in. It is what it is, man. It's like I said, I'm not doing this for, you know, for riches, for fame, for none of that. Because guess what? I don't get a dime for this podcast. I don't get a dime for this podcast, man. I just hope that this touches somebody, at least one person out there. And if it did, and it'd be great if it would be great if you leave me a comment, maybe a review, something, man. Because I don't really get any of those to where I can see that this is actually helping somebody. Somebody's actually listening to this and getting something from it. Because it doesn't show me all that. It shows, you know, you have a couple views here and there. That's all it shows. It doesn't show me how long somebody listened to it because somebody could have listened to this for 30 seconds and then clicked off. I don't know that. So it'll just be great to know that I am helping someone out and that this is this podcast is is just something that you like to listen to. And there's anything that you'd like me to, to discuss in the future, let me know. I do plan to keep involving my family when it comes to this podcast because it's not just my podcast. It's not just for me. I'm still <laughs> I'm still waiting to get my wife on here for one of these podcasts. We were just talking about last night. We don't know when we're going to get her on. I just got my uh, board and mic. I'm not talking on that right now. I just got my board and mic and uh, two sets of um, headsets. So I'm ready to go for me to have, you know, more guests on moving forward. Um. Like I said, starting with her. I'm sure my kids will get up in here, you know, especially especially my daughter. She loves 
He loves podcasting. Um, my son, not so much. He be, he be getting nervous, but it's all good. Uh, we'll get him up in here. Just got to talk baseball. <laughs> Draws him right on in. But anything else that you like to hear, just reach out to me. Anything else that you uh, might need a suggestion on, reach out to me. I'm an open book when it comes to contact. Y'all take it easy. Y'all be blessed. Peace. Thank you for listening to Lawn Dude on Earth. We talk about all kinds of things here. The good stuff, the tough stuff, and everything in between. If you like the show, please give us a five-star review. You can find us on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. Thanks for tuning in, and have a blessed day.